Good morning, everyone. This is Honeywell, and we're playing Stardew Valley. It is my absolute favorite day of the year. Uh, thanks, Evelyn. Do you see these bushes over here? Yeah, it's salmonberry season. This is why we wanted um, plus four foraging by the 15th to get to get the plus one to berry harvesting. So instead of one berry, we're getting two berries. Perturbed. And here's the tip letting us know that it's salmon berry season. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with juicy little berries and they're free for the taking. Uh, yeah. They are free for the taking and what they are good for, they're not good for money at all. I think each berry is worth like maybe five gold. Um, but what they are good for is energy. Um, 25 energy, 10 health. They're good for energy. They're good for gifts. Um, I don't know. At this date, at this point, probably about 10 of these would completely fill your energy bar. Um, so that's really big for uh, early game. I mean, this is the... The first spring is the only time you're ever going to really need these. Um, but if you take the time to collect them, they can really, really, really do good things for your game. So yeah, obviously, free forage. <laughs> I'm all over that. But not only does it appeal to my, uh, my greed, it's actually a good... Uh, a good gameplay decision. Uh, not everything that I'm doing in this playthrough is like uh, the optimal thing you should be doing. Um, a lot of it is just me doing what I enjoy. Like I I've done the make a gazillion dollar playthroughs. Well, short term. I never finished any of those farms and part of the reason why is because, oh my god, It becomes a grind and I don't know like grinding something like a that should be good uh, like not that I'm against uh, grindy games a lot of times they can be enjoyable like I used to love uh, uh, grinding in uh, World of Warcraft like the early days, uh, like grinding our potions and and whatnot that you needed to raid, because like raiding was awesome, you know. So if you needed when all the buffs stacked and you needed uh, protection potions and stuff. I had a lot of fun doing that, but grinding in Stardew Valley is just it's just boring. There's <laughs> there's no payoff for that. So I've changed my uh, I've changed my play style for this not really to uh, maximize the game but more my enjoyment of it but I am a little bit uh, OCD about <laughs> these sorts of things so uh, that's gonna creep into my play style You know, like making sure I have four foraging for the 15 so I can get double the berries. <laughs> That's probably not all that relaxed and laid back. Um, I'm watering all this because we're gonna go ahead and uh, get cauliflower. And plant as much as we can water without making it a chore. I mean, it is a chore. And we're going to collect 
go around collecting the salmon berries. Okay. Should I? Yeah. Let's go okay. that up. Let's fill that up. Drop that off. And I took out these acorns because, uh, it's kind of ridiculous and I just gotta shoot. We're gonna be cleaning up the farm in the next couple days too. Because we're gonna have level four foraging. I think we're gonna get it on the 20th with our first, ooh, shoot, with our first harvest of our strawberries. Oops. Oops. Sorry about that. And I think I'm just going to uh, put these seeds right in here just so uh, this is probably temporary. Probably. But they take forever to grow, so yeah. And let's go look over at the mess we have over here. What time is it? One o'clock? I have to get to Pierre's before they close. And this is one of the reasons why we're going to clear out our farm. Like this seed over here is like, that's not going to grow. They need space to grow. That should be good. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to work on that. There's always so much to do though. So much to do in no, no time. Is it the 15th? It's nobody's birthday today. Pam's the 18th. Let's get all of this out. Yeah, we're gonna I might need that axe since we're going to get berries. Um Do I have time for this? I think we're gonna make time. Because we're not gonna come back this way. Berries. Berries everywhere. what I wouldn't give for some speed boosts right now. It's just going to be a little bit painful. Hey, Harvey. I'm sorry. I forgot a present. Oh, what's our quest? No, Lily. Hey, Leah. Oh, Leah likes salmon berries. Yeah, I'm probably going to be a little less social just because uh, there's a lot to get done. Thirty-three, and we are going to. Uh, this is step one in Operation Nothing to Lose, and we need those parsnips. I want to gather as many of these berries as possible over the next, uh, over the next three days. So if you think I was obsessive with the beach, <laughs> uh, because if I'm wasting a whole day or like almost the whole week doing this, I mean, I really want it to pay off for us. And...
being able to restore your your energy bar multiple times over for free that's it's pretty big so we might just uh I'm gonna think I'm gonna ignore the people for a while just so I can uh, make the best use of my time ah <sighs> uh, did you see that that was wrong that was wrong Hey, Haley, do you see all these berries? They're mine. Really hates this she me if I want to make her depressed. Right. Thanks. Thanks for the tip. Our onion. Our onion patch becomes a lot less important. Um, it's still good foraging ex experience, um, but we might not be quite so uh, quite so determined to uh, start our day picking up our onions from now on. If it makes more sense for us to do something else, and I mean. I want to get to the, um, can I get these berries? I want to get to the gold level in the mine. And we need to kind of farm mats to make preserve jars. And I wanna have those ready as soon as um, we're able to because we're poor and we need the money. By not fishing, um, I'm, well not fishing yet. It's not that I'm never gonna fish. Um, but I'm losing a kind of a big source of early game income is uh, is the money that you'd get from fishing. So I really need to to get the most out of my crops and each like it doubles the value of the crop plus 50. So for instance, a, a regular cauliflower sells for um, 175 gold each. If I put it in a preserve jar for three days, um, it'll make preserved preserved cauliflower, and that will send, sell for 400 gold. So we want to put as much of our produce in, in preserved jars as possible to get some money to fund the next season. And I was hoping to get to the mine, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. Uh, but that's okay. There is. There is plenty to do. And once again, we have no music to play with. I wonder if anyone's... I mean, I haven't bothered to to mod this game at all. I wonder if anyone has done a, done a mod for music. If anyone was able to, uh, I can't be the only one who gets annoyed by this. If anyone was able to to make the music loop or anything like that. Like I said, I haven't bothered to mod this, but that might be something that I would look into. I mean, I guess it depends on how long I play this. But it's kind of creepy at night. <laughs> I 
a little music would be nice. Oh, I never went to the beach, did I? Hey, Linus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a salmon berry. You're welcome. Are those worms? I guess we'll spin down and uh, do that. What I was hoping to do was loop down. You know, let's just use some of our energy. I was hoping to loop down. Check out the forest and then head up the mines. Like once we planted our cauliflower, but that did not happen. Excuse me, just a moment. Sorry about that. Uh, pre store hand axe for Gunther. But I didn't realize it would take me so long to uh, to walk around. Probably because I probably because I planted those acorns took me a longer than I thought it would. Because we didn't get to Pierre's until the afternoon. I guess everyone's uh, going home from the bar. What a waste of time. <laughs> Is there really nothing here? It's dark and I don't have my glow ring, so I can't even tell. You found a book. It was a bookworm. <laughs> that made me laugh this morning when I saw that message. And this is not what I was uh, planning to use Operation Nothing to Lose on, but we just might be doing it. There we go. It's 2 o'clock. Again, I could cheat and uh, get back to bed, but I'm not going to. And you'll see why. Woo! We passed out. And usually when you pass out, you have to pay a fee someone finds you. Oh, that's Pierre. Someone dropped you off to the clinic last night. You passed out from exhaustion. Since you have no money, I provided your medical care free of charge. Um, when you don't have any money, there's no penalty. <laughs> and the penalty is the, uh, the reduced energy bar. But I mean, ju you just saw that we have, what, I can't even read that, 98 berries? So that penalty isn't much of a penalty anymore for th in the short term. So, uh, for the next little while, we're going to uh, kind of take advantage of our lack of wealth just to help us in the mines if we need it. So we're going to try that again. We're going to water our crops, make a loop around, and then see if we can get to get to the mine. Oh, I guess I should check the, check the forecast and all that good stuff. Oh, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have enough money to, um... Mildly perturbed. Wonder if we should try and get our watering can upgraded. 
I do not know. Could I scrape together 2,000 gold if I needed to? Hmm, I'm not sure. I am not sure. I'm going to take a look in our chest real quick and see what we have. Uh, what do we, we need a parsnip. able to craft a lot of sprinklers for the summer because uh, this gets old. <laughs> this gets old. Eat up, Honeywell. next to no gold in there I could craft some seeds and get 350 yeah we just don't have the money we do not have the money so that option was uh, taken from us pretty much yeah let's go uh, we're gonna make a loop around to the forest because that's where the majority of the the majority of the salmon berries should be what I would not do for a horse right now give up trying to get to the mine and and work on the farm instead not to work on the farm for the farm's sake um, but to gather the materials that we'll need for our preserve jars <laughs> I do like going to the mine though <laughs> I guess we'll see how uh, how long it takes. The mine will give us some, uh, might give us something in the way of uh, a little bit of money too. I mean, not that. I mean, I want to stay poor for a little while. Will not stay poor. I don't want to sell anything for a while because if uh, if I need to stay out until um, 2 a.m., it's not going to cost us anything. But a little bit of energy, which which we can easily restore now. I mean, we'll be eating these salmon berries like candy, but that's okay. They don't have to last forever. <laughs> They'll get us through um, 
the rest of the rest of spring and the first little bit of of summer when energy is so crucial um do i even bother to go get those bushes down by the water which i'll probably lose the berries i'm gonna say no i'm gonna say no let's not bother doing that um there might be a quest no No, no quest. Haley, I'm ignoring you. Actually, I'm not going to ignore you. Oh. I wonder if any nice shells will <laughs> show up on the beach this morning. This isn't the best time of year for shells, though. Oh, that's good. I never, uh, I don't remember getting that message before. I know there's a, a huge day in the summer where the beach is like covered in shells. But maybe the, part of the problem is that it's just not a, spring is just not a good time for, for the beach. Although that doesn't make sense because, one berry, yeah. That doesn't really make sense because I've only played the beginning part of this game, and I've always... Huh? Well, sorry, Linus. I tried to give, but they won't let me. No, I did not come to ridicule you. Okay, carry on about your business. I have to tell you, if it was not part of the game, socializing. I would not talk to most of these people. <laughs> they don't make it easy to get to know you, to know them. I've been giving them presents, talking to them every day, and they're just flat out rude. It's rude. Okay. Um, yeah in case I die. If you die, you can uh, you have a chance of losing some items. So, obviously, I don't want that. And there's our seals. Small sword that is not that great. And let's go down to these awful, awful dark levels. I hate these levels. So the sooner uh, we can get out of here, the better. Um, and with these, a lot of times, there's ladders. What am I doing? I'm back to my greedy ways trying to get the ore. Um, so one of the things I want to do, instead of just automatically searching, um, breaking stones to get out of here, I just want to um, cover the floor a little bit to make sure I'm not missing like an easy out. Oh, like there's a ladder right there. So it's a little, uh, it's a little waste of time, but. And I do want to break those chests as much as possible because, because why? Because there's some nicer weapons to be had. I think we're gonna have to fight a little bit. many mobs. And these things take so long to kill with these crappy weapons. Today, 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 today. Oh. I'm just standing there tanking the damage. Oh, for God's sakes. Um, and that right there is why it's uh, it's better to progress just by running from these mobs than trying to kill them because it is a time waster. Oh, energy. Yep. 
And uh, hopefully it'll be a ladder somewhere. Oh, perfect. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Let's go. These are worth a lot. Oh, well, I guess we're not selling anything anyway, right? I hate these levels. Hate them. <laughs> no ladder. No ladder. There's the ladder. Thirty-five. Let's um. Let's empty out our bags and go back in. I got a mess up here. As soon as I buy the bigger backpack, I'll take all this stuff with us. Um. Should I eat some more right now? Uh, normally, it wouldn't be worth trying to get another five floors at seven o'clock at night. Um, but I'll pass out in the mines if need be, and it might be worthwhile. It might be. It might. This might be a, wor a waste of time. But I mean, you never know. Watch there be a stair on that other side. Let's go. Let's go. Quartz. We need the quartz. And if we have to mine our way out of here, might as well be on copper. Nice, nice, nice. Thirty-seven. Oh, good. Look at that. And a coal cart. A lot of times there's ladders on these levels too. Oh, right there. Bye bye. Oh, this is good. One more level and we'll get 10 levels today. I wonder. Well, I guess it depends on how fast it goes. But maybe 9 o'clock? Yeah, bats, I will be killing you later. I'll need your wings. Do I even want this? No, I don't. Oh, sweet. So we are at the iron level now. Oh, this is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, our pick is going to be terrible, though. I would be uh, pretty happy to get some iron. We want to get our axe upgraded to to iron, but that's five thousand gold too. We need money. We definitely need money. This is usually a nice level. We will be spending a lot of time on these frozen floors. Um, one of the rewards for for those like monster slaying uh, quests um, is a burglar ring. 
which uh, doubles the drops from mobs. And while it's not, I mean, it's nothing anyone needs. I mean, if you focus on making money, like, getting those rings are just, like, not even necessary. Mm -hmm. But, it's not all about the money. I just enjoy playing the game, so. Oops. Now, the bad thing, though, is this, these mobs can, like, really hurt you with our weak little sore. Um, I think we're gonna get, we are, we are going to get an impressive 15 levels in the mine. Okay, let's get out of here. That was really nice. Um, there's a slingshot. They're they're really hard to kind of use, but what was I doing? Oh, I don't want that glow ring for right now. I'd rather have my magnet rings back on. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, we want the ore, yeah, the ore, the stone, the wood. I guess those and our salmon, yeah, our salmon berries. And I want to keep an eye on how much quartz we have too. Okay, let's go. We might actually make it home. Nothing wrong with that. So we got 15 levels in the mine. We reached the iron level. Um, gold starts at level 80, so we're not too far off of that. I wish I had time to go get those berries. And let's get into bed. Go to sleep for the night, yes please. And there you have it, another two days in Stardew Valley. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll come back for the next one. Bye-bye.